everyone. I'm here with a Bible reading. I hope you're having a good day. We're going to start with a devotion from the book that was my friend's. Okay, today says, The Psalms are a good reminder that when I'm in conversation with you, I don't need to paper over pain with cheery words. Thousands of years later, the emotions of the Psalms ring true. Whether the writers are speaking of current trials or of obstacles that have been overcome, praising you or calling on you for help, let my words to you be honest, Lord. Let my gratitude be honest, not just something I feel I'm supposed to do. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answeredest me and strengthenedest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Psalm 138, verses 1 through 5. And the picture is a little birdie in the tree. Yeah. All right, so we'll mark that. Have something to drink? I don't. I don't have. Okay, guys. <laughs> Today we'll be reading First Corinthians chapter twelve, verses one through twenty-six. Psalm 36, the whole psalm, and Proverbs chapter 21, verses 21 through 22. 21, 22. Okay, so in 1 Corinthians today, we'll be talking about concerning spiritual gifts and unity and diversity in the body. And of course, it'll still be the Apostle Paul speaking in Corinthians. Okay, so let's begin. Now, about the gifts of the Spirit, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, somehow or other you were influenced and led astray to mute idols. Therefore, I want you to know that no one who is speaking by the Spirit of God says, Jesus be cursed, and no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone it is the same God at work. Now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom to another a message of knowledge by means of the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by that one Spirit, to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy. You tried your best, but you can move it if you need to. Don't fall. Got it? I'm trying to get her on the camera. We don't got much room. 
Okay. To another, distinguishing between spirits. To another, speaking in different kinds of tongues. And to still another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of one and the same spirit. And he distributes them to each one, just as he determines. Just as a body through one has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free. And we were all given the one spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. And Jesus being the head, remember. Now, if the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body. It would not, for that reason, stop being part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body. It would not, for that reason, stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body where one of them just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts but one body. Saying God has made, we are all gods, but he has made us all different to do different things for him. That we are all just as important to God. No, no matter what we do, we are all just as important. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are unprecedentable are treated with special modesty while our presentable president presentable parts need no special treatment but god has put the body together giving greater honor to the parts that lacked it so that there should be no division in the body but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. All right, and that's where we are stopping with 1 Corinthians today. Let's see here, in our psalm, Psalm 36, it is for the director of music of David, the servant of the Lord, and it has 12 verses. Okay. I have a message from God in my heart concerning the sinfulness of the wicked. There is no fear of God before their eyes. In their own eyes they flatter themselves too much to detect or hate their sin. The words of their mouths are wicked and deceitful. They fail to act wisely or do good. Even on their beds they plot evil. They commit themselves to a sinful course and do not reject what is wrong. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens. 
your faithfulness to the skies. Your righteousness is like the highest mountains. Your justice is the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O oh God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights, for with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Continue your love to those who know you, your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the foot of the proud not come against me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evildoers lie fallen, thrown down, not able to rise. All right, guys, and that was Psalm 36 for the director of music of David, the servant of the Lord. Okay. And ending today's Bible reading is Proverbs 21, verses 21 and 22. Whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. One who is wise can go up against the city of the mighty and pull down the stronghold in which they trust. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading. I hope it touched your hearts. Let me go through the list of names on our prayer requests. Please keep the following people in prayer. Um, my mom, Rhonda Karshner, Sherm, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Dora Carper, Randy and Jody Post, Judy Thompson, Elizabeth Jeffries, Heather Whitting, Bridget Boggs and her family, including the Doles family, uh, Bob Fulton's family, Terry Mahorder's family, the Burt family, Layla and her son Emil, Garnet Boyer, Dean Deddy, uh, Mindy, Abby and Jimmy Myers, Kinsley and Olson Osborne, on the list for now I think that I have written down okay all right guys so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading bye guys God bless <laughs>